Hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you uh, a BIOS update for my HP. As you saw, the updates were from uh, the, the BIOS update is digitally signed by Microsoft. So what that means is when you do the Windows updates, you get the BIOS update as well. Now before I show the part that it's updating the BIOS, a few things you want to know. One, be careful when you do this. Two, it does take a little bit to update it. Now why do you want to be careful? I had a problem after I did this where the computer would turn on then turn right back off and then turn on again it, it did not know what to do um, I did not film me trying to fix it because uh, I filmed something like that on clearing the BIOS so what I had to do was take the jumper pins off the not jumper pins, the ju uh, jumpers themselves. And, um, and what they do is basically it's hardware telling what to do. Unfortunately, with this particular model of computer, you the whole front of the case off because these uh, jumpers are right under where the hard drive and the DVD drive are. So what I did is I took disconnected the hard drive and the DVD drive, uh, took the jumpers off, plugged it back in, turned it on, it stayed on. I turned the computer off, and then I put the jumpers back on, turned the computer on, and it w still stayed on. Then I... Turn, turned it off and then re-hooked up the DVD drive the hard drive as I stated turned it on and it worked just fine and I was able to turn it off and it turned itself off so I had to clear the CMOS now normally from what from my experience that does not happen but that can happen and in this case it was easy because it was giving me the signs that I had bricked the board and the term bricking is basically when you destroy a board. Whether it be a bad firmware update or doing something kind of not right to it. So it did work. Now this particular computer is my gaming machine. That is me that you see. I'm holding the phone up. I'm using my iPhone to film. And it was very, very hard to hold. This was a spontaneous video. So, and unfortunately, I forgot the hookup that I have. I have an HDMI switch box because this is connected to my TV. And when something powers off, it goes back to the original setting. But it didn't in this case. Uh, it did. I had to cut the, uh, sorry, it did in this case. I had to cut the filming to change it back so as you see we are in progress of the HP BIOS update um, as you can see this is what it looks like and uh, it was pretty interesting going through this update um, what I have noticed is that pre-built computers have BIOS updates digitally signed by Microsoft now when I'm editing this video, this is a build built by me. This is not a pre-built. A pre-built is something you, as I said, you buy from the store. Now back to the video subject. So as you can see, it is installing. It's writing the BIOS image, meaning it is updating the BIOS.
And other companies do have this. Uh, Lenovo has this uh, for their pre-built desktops. My dad has one. HP has this in other companies as well. Dell even has them. Alright, so now it's going to ask me to continue. This is where I had the issue, but I fixed it yesterday when I got off of work. This is the part right here where I've had the issue going on. As I stated, it has been fixed. Just be warned, you might have to clear your CMOS after this. On this particular computer, there are two jumpers. And unfortunate, and luckily I was able to fix it. So, Anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment like and subscribe and click that bell for more notifications.